नमस्ते दोस्तों हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुमन शर्मा वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सुमन एजुकेशन हब इंग्लिश इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू रिकॉर्ड एंड हाउ टू पास जीएसटी एडजस्टमेंट एंट्री इन टेलीग्राम लेट सपोज योर इनपुट टैक्स क्रेडिट इज मोर देन योर आउटपुट टैक्स सो हाउ यू हैव टू एडजस्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ एंट्री लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट थ्योरी let suppose your input tax is more than your output tax so first you need to pass journal entry and we have to adjust our output tax credit limit with our input tax and all this procedure i'm going to tell you practically how you have to do in telegram so let's get started and before starting video if you are coming first time and visiting first time to my channel so please like share and subscribe if you have not subscribed as yet so please subscribe to my channel and share you can share my channel with your uh, friend your family member and student whoever want to learn accounting in english so you can share my channel with all of them so let's get started and see all the procedure uh, how practically will do in tally prime first open tally prime and from here first we need to open balance sheet so from gateway of tally we will press b so that balance sheet can be open and we can see the liabilities of uh, our taxes so from gateway of tally open the balance sheet click on go to option and now you can open balance sheet from here and click on current liabilities and duties and taxes now you can see there is a input c gst and input s gst is showing debit side and output c gst and output s gst is showing credit side our input gst tax amount is more than output tax amount for maintaining proper accounting we need to adjust this entry every month at the end of month uh, we pass gst adjustment entry for maintaining proper accounting so that output c gst and input c gst can be maintained in books so here is input gst is more than output gst you can uh, use calculator in tally prime now you can see there is a One lakh seventy-five thousand two hundred. It's our input amount, and our output amount is one lakh twelve thousand double four seven. It means there is no tax liability to paid. So this is a uh, our input tax credit amount is more than output. So this will be carry forward for next month, and in next month will we will purchase sell purchase. it will be adjusted in next month when we will pass gst adjustment entry in tally prime so let's pass first gst adjustment entry so from gateway of tally press we select journal voucher and select end of the month date so that we can uh, pass gst adjustment entry in tally prime so first we need to adjust output our output taxes with input taxes so one by one you have to select your output c gst s gst and i gst so output s gst c gst i gst will be debited so output c gst amount was 56223.75 so this amount will be debited again we will debit output s gst 56 Double two three point seven five. So output C G S T and S G S T will be same amount. And if there is output I G S T, so you have to also debited output I G S T. But in our case there is no output I G S T. Now we will adjust our output uh, input G S T with output G S T. First we will adjust output C G S T with input C G S T. so select input c gst ledger from here and input c gst ledger will be credited with amount 56223.75 as because uh, in uh, input c gst there is a more amount so we can adjust 56223.75 now we will adjust output s gst with input s gst same amount will be credited now you can 
mention in narration this is a gst adjustment entry for the month of which month you can mention in narration and save this entry now let me show you to open balance sheet so that we can see what is the impact of this entry in balance sheet so i have opened now you can see in current liability there is showing only input cgst and input sgst in debit side 45752.56 this input this itc will be carry forward for the next month in next month when you will be uh, done sale and purchase so that's amount will be adjusted for the next month so this is the consolidated entry uh, in in one entry we have seen how we have to adjust output cgst adjust with input cgst as gst if you want to pass single single entry if you are not comfortable with the consolidated entry so you can pass single single entry i am telling you how you will be pass single single entry so let me delete the previous entry we recorded so from here by pressing control a we will add voucher and from the right hand side select journal voucher and i'm showing you if you want to uh, record single single entry like if you want to adjust output cgst with input cgst so how you will be record entry output cgst amount was 56223.75 will be debited and input cgst will be credited with the same amount so here we are adjusting output cgst with input cgst and in narration you can mention this is a gst adjustment entry for which month and save the entry so this is a single entry in this entry only we have adjusted output cgst with input cgst so next entry we will pass same voucher select journal voucher change the date now we will adjust output as gst with input as gst so output as gst will be debited with 56223.75 and input as gst will be credited with the same amount so this is a single single entry we pass if you are comfortable you can record in consolidated entry if you are comfortable so you can record in single entry in tally prime as i show you i hope this video will help you out if this video will help you out so please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you want if you wish you can uh, search my channel on google on youtube by searching suman education hub english so you will get my channel and you can watch accounting related video in english language thank you and keep watching my videos